Hello and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Monday the 1st of February 2021. It's a new month. Uh, there seems to be huge amounts of construction started today, so I'm sorry if you hear background noise, we'll try to ignore it. Um, today is going to be an easy level, so I welcome beginners. Everyone can start Sudoku today. I wonder if Aung San Suu Kyi will be starting Sudoku Puzzle today, uh, having read that she has now been uh, put under some form of detainment, some kind of arrest um, in the name of corruption. Uh, a big disappointment Aung San Suu Kyi has been to the world after so much uh, promise from when she was a previous prisoner and uh, political detainee and the world hoped that she would become some kind of savior in the way that Nelson Mandela was um, but she has been promoting hugely racist policies against the Rohingya uh, in Burma and so has been rather a disappointment to the world community what happens next uh, we don't know I'm based here in Thailand which is quite close by but it doesn't have much effect on us here welcome to Sudoku uh, Zen and the art of the Sudoku puzzle. We're going to clear our minds and try to focus only on this numbers game. Not a numbers game, a logic game actually. The numbers are just a way of representing logic. Again, I apologize about the noise. Uh, if you are new to Sudoku, welcome. Um, a quick description of the rules and how to play the game. We see a large grid and we see different sections within this grid, nine with this bold, these bold lines here. And within we see nine squares within each section or sector or segment or whatever. And then we also have uh, columns and rows like this. Okay, so now the object is to fill in the numbers one to nine in every square within one segment and within every column, one to nine, and every row, one to nine. Of course, there are nine squares, so that means each number can only be placed once. Um, now, how do we begin this? Well, we begin by looking for things that are certain, numbers that are certain. For example, if we look in here, in this segment here, and we notice that we don't have a number five yet. There are, you know, numbers are missing, various numbers are missing. Certainly number five is missing. But we notice that there, if you extend this five along this row, we know that 5 can only appear one time in this row and therefore can't come here, 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 or here. Right? And the same thing for this 5 in this row, can't come here, 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 or here. So that means that this 5 is blocking these two squares, this 5 is blocking these two squares, and there is only one square left, and that's that square there. So that has to be a 5, so we can fill in number 5 in that position. I hope that made sense. That's how we play the game, uh, just like that, as Tommy Cooper used to say. If you don't know who he is, don't worry about it. Uh, the threes can extend in this row here. If we consider three is not available here, 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 right? So blocking here. In this column also, we have a three, and you can see that it blocks out a three from anywhere else. So in this segment, this three is blocking these three squares, and this three is blocking these three squares. And then at the top here, there's a 3 right over here on the left, blocking this square. So blocked, blocked, and blocked. That's the only square left, so a 3 must appear in that position. It is really noisy. <clears throat> Um, okay, now this is another kind of uh, logic that you're looking for, is that if we look along this bottom row, we see that one of the missing numbers is 3. We have 1, 2, 4, and 5, that's it. We don't have a 3 yet. But what we can notice is that there is a 3 in this segment here, meaning there's no 3 here or here, right? Because within this location here, 3 can appear only once. So not here, not here. 
There is also a 3 in this column here, blocking a 3 from appearing here. So not here, not here, not here. And there is also a 3 in this column right down here, blocking 3. So in fact, there's only one square left, which 3s are not blocking. Blocking here, blocking here, blocking these two. And that's this position here. So we can fill in our number 3 there, like so. Um, now, something else we can do is um, uh, fill in what we call candidates. Um, that means pos numbers that can possibly go in a position. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So, for example, when we extend this 2 across this row, we know that it can't appear here, 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 or here, right? So these two squares are blocked out. There are two possible places left for a 2. I'm not going to write it in as a large number. I'm going to write in a small... Hey, what am I talking about? <laughs> I apologize. I made a mistake. My eyes are not looking carefully, but that's okay. Nothing bad happened because I caught the mistake in time. And this is what happens with Sudoku. Uh, you will make mistakes. Players at all levels make mistakes occasionally. Uh, beginner, medium, and advanced. Um, hopefully advanced players make fewer mistakes. Um, clearly, that's not always the case, though. Uh, this 2 um, runs across this column, uh, this row here, and this 2 runs across this row here, and in this column up here, 2 is also blocking there. So there is only one space for a 2, and it has to go there. Okay. So we keep looking around the grid. The uh, thing to do is to you know keep your eye moving around different places. Don't get just stuck in one place only. Oh, so much traffic noise. Um. Okay, well, this is supposed to be an easy level Sudoku, but actually, I don't find many easy um, numbers immediately. Normally, there are a lot more, a lot of easy numbers right at the beginning when you have an easy level Sudoku, but I don't see that many. Okay, this 8 runs across this row here, and this 8 runs across this row here, so we are blocking in this segment. 8s are blocking here, 8s are blocking here, leaving only that square there where an 8 can go. If we bring that 8 up this column and this 8 from the top down this column, you can see blocking, blocking, and 8 has to appear here. I can see ants crawling across the Sudoku puzzle and managing to get them just before they arrive there. I'm not sure where they're coming from, but I shall keep them off the endeavor to keep them off the Sudoku puzzle. We have enough distractions already. Well, okay, I uh, think I'm going to have to fill in. Um, candidates. I wasn't expecting to do it at this early stage uh, for an easy puzzle, but um, I guess I guess I'll have to. Oh no, not yet. Okay, so there's a seven. Okay, so in this row at the bottom, we have no sevens yet. Uh, we're three squares missing. There's a seven blocking here, and there's a seven blocking here. So that is the only possible place a 7 can go. Got it? Okay. Uh, and from this row now, the two missing numbers are 6 and 9. We have every number except 6 or 9. The 9 is blocking this square, and so must come here. And also the 6 couldn't come here because it's in the same segment. So that's our 9, and that's our 6.
oh, the noise, the noise. Uh, when we bring this 9 down this column here, and notice that there's a 9 across this row here, we see blocking here, blocking here, a 9 is going to have to come in that position there. When we That 9 we just filled in, when we extend it across the row to this right hand sector here, we can see 9's blocking, and there's a 9 blocking here. So blocked, blocked, only one position a 9 can go, and that's there. Um, okay, so I'm going to put, put in the candidates for 9 here, just to show you something. Uh, you see 9's run across this central uh, row, and there's a 9 in this column here. So blocking here and blocking here means that a 9 can appear either here or here, but nowhere else. Okay, so we know that there has to be a 9 either here or here. Now if we do what we did before by extending numbers along, if we extend this 9 down this column, and we know that there's a 9 already, either here or here, so can't appear here or here. So 9 is blocking here, blocking here, and that has to be a 9 in that position there. If we extend that 9 across again, over here, we'll see that these two top squares are blocked, leaving only that position for a 9 there. You can see it's all elimination. That's really how Sudoku works. It is just eliminating numbers. We don't have a 7 in this column, right? Now we have three numbers missing, and we don't have a 7, but you see there is a 7 in this segment already, meaning that 7 can't come here or here. It's blocked because it's already in this segment. And that means that 7 has to appear in that position there. Okay, in this row now, we don't have a 4, but there is a 4 in this sector here, meaning that square can't be a 4, because there's a 4 here, and we have a 4 in this column already, so that means that that square can't be a 4, so there's no 4 here or here, it's got to go there. Now I'm actually going to write in the candidate up here for 4. Um, because it's in the same place as these nines, and that can be a useful tactic um, when we play at higher levels. So if you notice that this 4 goes across in the same way that the 9 did, it cuts across the central row, and this 4 in a 9, uh, 4, sorry, in this um, right hand column here. So blocking, blocking, and it's in the same position as the 9. So we have 4 and we have 9 in those squares, and it means that no other numbers can be candidates for those two squares, nothing else. Uh, we're missing two here, we're missing you know, fives and other numbers, but they can't possibly go in those squares. Uh, back looking at the fours again, I see there's a four in this column here, and we don't have a four in this segment yet. There's a four blocking these two squares, and so a four has to appear here. Um, okay, in this segment here, this one intersects these two squares here, so one is forbidden from here and here. One is only allowed in that square there. If we bring that one across the grid like this, you'll see that it blocks in this segment, one is being blocked and it has to appear here. And there is only one number remaining from this segment, which is a 6, so we can fill that in. And this row now, there is only one number missing, which is a 7, so we can fill that in. And 1, 2, 3, 4, the last number here is a 6, that's the only number remaining from this segment here. Now back again across this row, and we'll see the missing number in this row, there's one square missing, and it's a number 1 that we need to fill in here. The two squares that are missing here are 6 and 8, but we don't know which is which at this period of time, so we'll just not do anything about it. Um, on the other hand, this column here, so this is why you need to keep moving your eyes around and not just get stuck in one place as well. 
in this column here there is one number missing it goes here and it's actually a number two so we'll fill that in now Um, what's missing here? Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. Um, we could fill in these candidates actually. These ones that have just two numbers missing. Uh, here is six and eight. So we'll her. Uh, Six and eight, is that right? Yes, it is. Actually, we've already got a six um, blocking this square here, so we can fill that in immediately. It's six, and that is eight here. Um, what's missing here? One, two, three, four, and five are missing here. Four and five, one, two, three. Yeah, we don't have four and five. Five is blocking this square here, and so must appear here. The only number left is four. It can go there. If we extend that 4 right up that column and 4 up this column and notice there's a 4 in this row, it means that has to be a 4 in that location. And there's only one number left to go here now, which is a 1, so we can fill that 1 in from that column. Uh, the neighbor's getting busy again. 4 is in this row now, and so where we had 9 and 4 or 9 and 4 exclusively, we know it couldn't be anything else. The 4 is going to be removed now, leaving us only a 9, because we know it had to be either a 9 or 4, nothing else, and that has to be a 4. Oh, the noise challenge today is tremendous. Traffic, industry, and chit-chatting neighbors, never mind. Let's focus, let's concentrate. All right. Um, okay, back down to this region. Now, I, I know that we were busy up here, but uh, you know, when you see something, you need to come down and do it immediately, I think. I spotted that there is a one blocking this square and this square. We have no one in this segment, right? So one is blocking here and here, which means it has to be a candidate here and here. Now, if we extend that back across, this row we know that one is here here it can't be here here or here right? so blocking this row these two squares are blocked but also this one blocks this square and this square meaning the one must appear here so we'll do that now um Okay, next up, um, let's find these two missing numbers up here. One, two, three, we don't have four, uh, five, six, three and six. Candidates here are three and six. Have to appear here, nothing else. Um, when we consider the nine across now, nine in this row, nine in this row, so blocking, blocking, and a nine is going to appear here, like so. And we don't yet have a two in this segment, but this two here um, blocks this square, and so a two will have to appear up here. There is only one number missing from this column. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight is our missing number. Let's fill that in now. And since we've just filled in that eight, we can see that this 8 runs across this row here, 8 across this row, 8 right from here up this column, 8 in this column. That's the only position, that's the only square that has no intersecting 8s. Uh, the ones we can, f let's fill in the candidates for one, so there's one blocking this square, these two squares, one blocking this square, and there's a one blocking here, so in fact one is going to appear either here or here, we don't know which yet. Uh, 
Okay, uh, in this row here, we are missing two squares, and two numbers are 5 and 7. We don't have a 5 or 7, so 5 or 7 has to go here or here. Where can it go? Well, can a 5 go in this square here? Answer, no, because we already have a 5 in this segment here. So we have 5 and 7. 5 can't go here, so it has to go here. We can fill that in, and that must be a 7 which if we extend that 7 up means it blocks that square and that square and we don't yet have a 7 in that segment so we can fill it in like so there are two numbers missing here what are they one two three four five we don't have six we don't have are there any fives or sixes intersecting that tell us no not yet so we'll just fill in five and six like this but then this square we now know because we have 5 and 6 here so we can just see which other number is missing 1 do we have a 2 no there is no 2 here so that has to be a 2 there is one number missing from this grid this part of the grid that's 6 so we can fill that in now uh, next step is to see what's along here 1 Two, three, we don't have yet. Three is going to be either here or here. Okay, you see that three is blocking this square here. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Seven is also blocking this square here. So, seven, seven. So, we actually have all of the numbers here now one, three, or seven. But you see, this only a one can go here, nothing else. So, we fill in that one, and when we do that, we remember to remove our candidate one from here, like that. Now, if you remember previously, we filled in a pair of ones at the top here. So this one will eliminate the one from here. We can erase that. It was part of a pair, and so one goes in that location there. Now, in this column here, there are two squares with two empty squares. And we know that there's a 3, 7 here, so we know that that also has to be a 3 or a 7. Those are the two missing numbers from this column. But we see there's an intersecting 7 here. And what does it mean? It means 7 is verboten here. So 7 has to come here, like so. The other missing number was 3. And down here, of course, 3. We'll do that at the same time. Now that we've just put in our 3 here, we can see that 3, candidate 3, has to be removed. There's only one place it can go. It's there. 6 we can fill in as well. That 6 we bring across. That's not a 6 now. That's got to be a 5. And the 6 has to be there. When we think about the 6 that we just filled in, we'll bring that across here, and we'll see that there is a 6 blocking these numbers up here. So that there is a 6 in that square there. There is only one missing number from this column one two three four it's a five we don't have a five so that's what goes there there are two numbers missing in this segment and this column whichever what are they one do we have a two no we don't have a two so we look for intersecting twos there's an intersecting two so two must appear here three four five six seven is our final number and just double check nothing else is affecting it always check it you know when you're a beginner i think you have to check and make sure you haven't made mistakes i think when i first started playing this game although it's many many years ago uh, i think sometimes i may have thought that i finished but when i checked it again actually i'd made a mistake because i had a double number in you know one in, in a row or in a column or something like that um, that doesn't really happen much nowadays but uh, it certainly can happen when you start playing I apologize for all of the noise and the distractions today, but that's the end of our Sudoku puzzle. Uh, if you're a learner, I hope this inspires you to uh, try your own Sudoku puzzles. I mean, you know, look for them in newspapers, online, there are free ones everywhere. Please make sure you attempt the easy ones first and work your way up through the skill level. Don't start at expert level, it will just give you a headache if you haven't got experience at easier levels first. Peace be with you. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.